Born on March 14, 1921, in Hellerup, Denmark, Liz Hartel was just a normal horse-loving girl who grew up riding alongside her sister under her mother's watchful loving eye. She began in dressage, her first and last love. But as a teenager, she also competed in show jumping. She married at 20 with a fellow horse lover and was pregnant with her second child at 23 when tragedy struck in the insidious form of polio. Initially, she was almost entirely paralyzed. But with the help of her husband and mother, she decided to pull herself up. She decided to immediately begin her rehabilitation process to ride again. After delivering a healthy baby, she started learning to lift her arms again, taught herself to crawl, and finally to walk with the help of arm crutches, striving to her goal day by day, being better day by day, being better than yesterday and being better than every day. Determined to get back to competitive dressage riding, Liz decided to pick herself up. She suffered several traumatic falls even at walk and trot as she learned to balance or cue with little or no muscle control. But only three years after her initial illness, Liz competed at the Scandinavian Riding Championship in 1947 and finished in second place. Liz would go on to win another silver medal in 1956 Olympics in Stockholm, the gold in the unofficial world championship of 1954 and was a seven-time Danish national champion. She was inducted in numerous sporting halls of fame and considered a national hero in Denmark. She was a key spokesperson for the Polio Foundation. Liz passed away in 2009 at the age of 87 after 75 years of riding and coaching, but did so while completely paralyzed from the knee down. Which reminds me of what Winston Churchill said, success is not final and failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Liz didn't give up. She continued. She decided to chase her dreams and with perseverance and hope, she made the impossible possible. The only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. If you fell down yesterday, then just stand up today. It brings me to Eleanor Roosevelt who said, I am who I am today because of the choices I made yesterday. Recognize that every day we are the result of every past decisions that we have made up to that point and tomorrow we are going to be the direct result of the decisions we are making today so if we are doing things today that will make us better tomorrow and we continue that pattern day after day we are always going to be in the process of becoming our best before doing anything just ask yourself number one where the decisions that i am making today will lead me to number two Am I better today than I was yesterday? Number three, do I have goals in place to help me improve tomorrow? Our decisions and our little actions every day make our habits. And APJ Abdul Kalam has said, you cannot change your future, but you can change your habits. And surely your habits will change your future. I'm sure that this video will impact you in a very positive way and will inspire you to be better than yesterday. If it did, then make sure to subscribe the channel and share this video with your loved ones. Looking forward to sharing more with you. Let's hack the knowledge. This is Avan Rasool and I'm signing off. Bye-bye.